darkness to travel. All clear. Racing in the Hollywood Bets Cape Guineas from that 1600 meter mark. And the starter caught them in a perfect line with Anfield's Rocket dropping back shortly after the break and tucking into the back of the field. Canford Lights landed running. Royal Aussies pushing forward on the outside. He's going to set up handy. On the move two, we got Union Square. They're being followed next in running by At My Command, who's sitting on the inside running rail, and he's just three lengths off that leader. Lord William is whipping round them on the outside, being followed by Port Louis. Then comes uh, towards the inside, Shoemaker. That one is easily about eight, nine lengths off that leader. Famous and Rich is racing towards the outside. They're being followed by Street Outlaw. Then comes Charles Dickens, who's on the inside running rail and gives the leader about a dozen length start. Cousin Casey tracks him. Port Dewey is three deep on the outside of them. Then comes Anfield's Rocket. He's going to corner back one from last and Money Heist is going to whip them in as the Hollywood Bets Cape Guineas field turns for home with 600 metres left to go. It's Canford Lights. That brings them into the home straight. Union Square is closest in second. Royal Aussie racing in third. At my command is coming up the middle. Cousin Casey's going in. Charles Dickens being angled out for his run and he's starting to lift with just on 300 metres left to go down the inside it's Union Square he's hit the front with Royal Aussie and Charles Dickens he's starting to pick them off one by one up the outside it's Charles Dickens that got driven into the lead ladies and gentlemen you're seeing something special as Charles Dickens shows he's a champion he wins the guineas easy Charles Dickens from Cousin Casey at my command and then came Royal Aussie.